Hey Saber fans, this is Gray Paladin, bringing you a review of my Custom Diversions $99 Mystery Box Battle Saber. When you order the Saber, and I got this off of the Etsy store, they have a shop on Etsy, and as you can see here, there's some uh, company information located out of Blue Springs, Missouri. And on the back side of that is some operating instructions. Just essentially, these are all stunt sabers, so uh, just basically tells you how to uh, get your battery in there and uh, turn the saber on. Now, uh, with this mystery box, uh, the $99, uh, the description said that it had uh, a mixture of metal parts and 3D printed parts. Uh, but once I dive into the saber, you'll find that um, there are hardly any uh, non-metal parts on here. But when you order your saber, it, uh, you get those instructions. Uh, you also get a uh, marketing card right there, custom diversions. And then there's the location in the site of their Etsy shop. You also have a charger. This is a nice charger too. It's uh, just for a single battery. And then here's your, uh, your port there to go right into the wall. It comes with extra screws and the dimensions of the screws are uh, much bigger um, than another standard saber that you might find. And then you also get Allen wrenches. And with these Allen wrenches, this one here, uh, which is a bit larger than what we're normally seeing for a retention screw, that's for the retention screw. So the blade retention, and then you have this thicker one here that's used on uh, this screw right there. So, uh, the dimensions, it's uh, 12 and a half inches long from emitter to pommel. It has an outer diameter of 1.7 inches and an inner diameter of one inch. So as you can see, this is um, a rather uh, thick and uh, wide saber. Uh, but if you look on the inside there, it has a, uh, a copper uh, tubing as its center. And you can see there's your difference in, uh, in outer and inner diameters there. They added the aluminum on the outside with the uh, pretty much a copper core. Uh, the blade depth is very deep. It's uh, three and a half inches. So my finger is now all the way in the hilt. And that goes all the way up to my big knuckle there. So it's a uh, very uh, deep blade depth. It has a uh, resonating chamber of one inch. And I'll get into the pommel in a second. Uh, this is a quite heavy, probably the heaviest saber that I own now, and that's uh, one pound six ounces, real meaty. Uh, now, um, talking about 3D printed parts, the pommel is actually 3D printed and uh, assembled. So I'm going to take this off here. Um, I was spinning the saber and actually dropped it once, and on the first drop, the uh, 3D uh, printed portion had cracked, um, but I was able to uh, glue that back together and now you can't even notice or tell that it was uh, broken. But it has a washer <clears throat> on the bottom and then this uh, kind of copper gear on the inside there. So that's an interesting take on a pommel. And then this portion here, it has uh, seven notches on the outside, kind of like the uh, Obi-Wan style. And that is the 3D printed portion, and then that is glued to this uh, portion here that's, uh, that has your threading to screw it on. So this is the only 3D printed part, and it's just these seven notches here in the center. Everything else is um, aluminum and metal. And then this resonating chamber, as I said before, is uh, one inch if you were to add sound to this. And then it is just a stunt saber, so this uh, string is attached to the uh, battery holder. You just gently pull that out and that will give you access to your battery. And this is a 
18650 uh, lithium ion battery and look at that massive 9900 milliamps that's huge i've never seen a battery that large um, used on a saber the most i've seen is um, uh, 3600 so 9900 that's uh, that's impressive for just a stunt saber so you can run this for a long time before the battery goes out um, also on the inside there you can see that there is some uh, some uh, some foam on either side to uh, give you a snug fit and also um, keep it uh, safe from you know, knocking the metal edges too roughly uh, just secure that back inside with a little push tuck in your string there and secure your pommel so looking moving up to the body the body has uh, uh, seven grip notches here or six grooves in between and that actually feels quite good um, when you're squeezing it you can really feel that between your fingers um, so even though this is a very thick and uh, wide saber uh, I feel like you're gonna have a good hold a very good hold on it and then we've got a 12 millimeter uh, latching switch here because it is a stunt saber moving into the choke the choke is not the most comfortable place to hold because you can see the there's a, a very definitive edge here at the emitter and then down by the body around that is a nice uh, leather cut leather uh, strip to look like uh, tassels around a uh, kind of loop here uh, I wish that this was actually not as wide or as long the uh, the button that holds it in place if that were just a little lower I think it'd be a little nicer but it's okay but this leather strip uh, this leather strap adds a nice touch to the saber and when you're swinging it around um, you don't even it doesn't get in the way or anything it's perfectly fine now, now we get into the emitter there's a shroud piece here um, that goes around the actual emitter itself and this is slanted and we've got two retention screws here uh, that kind of hold that emitter in place and from what I understand this screw right here is just for decoration even though it is removable and there's an extra screw that that came in there so if you wanted you can make this a retention screw um, but it's uh, for now it's just there for aesthetic value I think and it's covered uh, by this uh, rubber tube to kind of make it look a little more pleasing and also not scratch you Right here is the blade retention screw just the one is fine I mean when you have three and a half inches of blade depth the blades not going anywhere once you uh, secure it with that one screw okay now I'm going to add the blade here my stubby just so I have room to swing in the camera won't be much swinging going on here just because it's a stunt saber so there's no sound and nothing to really hear and actually this is my first uh, stunt saber review I think I don't have a lot of these it's a, uh, a nice guardian blue obviously uh, coming through uh, nice and bright there especially when you have that really strong battery uh, powering it up and I think blue is a nice fitting color for this uh, one thing I also want to note on the body is that um, this aluminum has been uh, painted with uh, silver metallic paint uh, it's uh, very uh, smooth and it has some uh, grain effect in there it looks real uh, real kind of natural there's no cover tack or anything like that on the saber but if I wanted to update this with some electronics there's ample room to do so and add a chassis and things like that but I'm just going to keep this as is as a stunt this is actually though it's heavy um, it's a solid saber just again don't drop it because this pommel will break <laughs> I was really having some fun spinning this around dropped it once and then all that cracked and the washer broke off so I had to glue it all back together so just got to be careful with that but other than that um, this is my first saber from custom diversions and um, I like that everything is unique one saber you buy will not be like another saber that you get from them um, so if you like unique one-off sabers then custom diversions uh, might be right for you 
and then if you want want sound you can easily just uh, pay an installer to do that yourself this doesn't currently have a name it's just battle saber uh, but if i think of something maybe i'll i'll, I'll add one and dub this uh, saber or something else but uh, if you're looking to just have a nice strong sturdy saber because i mean this like i said it's heavy it's tough nothing's happening to this thing um, and you want to do some really heavy hard dueling with style then custom diversion custom diversions may be right for you <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you